Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Trending here, bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we're going to be going over five things that Lil Pump owns that you definitely wish you had. Now before we get into it, you guys are probably wondering where the iPhone giveaway intro is, and that's because the giveaway is now done. But there is a little complication, and somebody actually false flagged the giveaway page on the screen. So I'll be showing you guys it here so you guys know I'm not lying. I'm in contact with Gleam right now, and we're going to be having a winner for the next video. So guys, just make sure you guys turn on my notifications and watch the next video because that's where we'll be announcing the winner and whoever false flagged the giveaway I seriously do not know why you did that but guys don't worry it will be in the next video I'm very sorry it's really not my fault now there is no shout out for this video but if you guys want a shout out in my next video to help you gain a lot of subscribers just comment down your three favorite songs by Lil Pump for a shout out in my next video also make sure you guys watch this video fully through because I'll be hiding some free Amazon gift card codes for you guys to win I'll be hiding them all throughout the duration of this video so just make sure you guys watch the video all the way through and you can pick up yourself one so today we're gonna be going over five things that Lil Pump owns that you definitely wish you had now there's no doubt in my mind that Lil Pump was one of the biggest hip-hop artists in 2017 just looking at the numbers Pump has more searches on YouTube in the last 30 days than huge name artists like J Cole Jay Z and even Lil Uzi Vert so in case you guys don't know who Lil Pump is which I highly doubt he's a 17 year old hip-hop artist from Miami Florida born on August 17th 2000 he has many hit songs like elementary D Rose flex like ooh and many more a lot of people don't know this but his real name is actually Gazzy Garcia and guys let me tell you right now for a 17 year old kid this guy is making a lot of money I make videos on pump all the time so if this is your first time watching a video about low pump that's not a music video I encourage you guys to watch this whole thing because I am he's actually a very interesting person and you'd definitely be surprised of how much money he spends on things he spends anywhere from hundreds of thousands of dollars on items that he doesn't even use his estimated net worth is currently over a million dollars because how well his latest album and mixtape is doing and because all the concerts he's been doing lately it's estimated he's making anywhere from 30 thousand to seventy thousand per concert and he just finished a little tour of 17 concerts so just think of all those numbers in your head but anyways guys let's get right into the five things that he owns that I bet you wish you had all right guys so starting at the number five thing that Lil Pump owns that you probably definitely do want and that this car he only bought for only two weeks before selling it back to the dealership because he didn't want anymore but that is a white Lamborghini now I have a picture up on the screen of this super sweet supercar and I just want you guys to guess how much this car cost at a 17 year old like Lil Pump so Pump bought this car for $250,000 in cash supposedly now this is a super nice car and only for a 17 year old to buy it is absolutely insane I couldn't even imagine buying myself one at that that age a lot of 17 year old kids don't even drive and pump is out here buying the most luxury sports cars in the world buying this car he probably didn't even put a dent into his bank account because how much he's making from his concerts royalties and just so many other things that pumps doing on the other side of music so purchasing a Lamborghini at age 17 is definitely something that he probably just wanted to do to get off his bucket list that's probably why he sold it back but guys if you think that this is crazy you guys are definitely gonna want to hear the number one thing in this video so I highly suggest you guys keep watching this video because what Lil Pump bought is absolutely insane but it also if you guys leave a like on this video right now I'll have a Lamborghini shipped to your driveway in three days I'm not even joking to you so jumping straight into the fourth thing that he probably owns that you definitely want this next item is very expensive and Lil Pump has bought it and it was this brand new 2018 Audi R8 that's an insane price of three hundred thousand dollars now if you guys add both of these car prices that would make half a million dollars just in cars that pump owns but don't even forget guys this video is only halfway done there's so many more things to be said now Lil Pump sure does love his cars but he does also have some fair shares of having some accidents with these cars that we'll get into much later on in the video sources say online that he actually kept this car but barely ever drives it now it's just kind of sitting at his garage in his very expensive home which is kind of ridiculous having such a beast car and not even being able to drive it. Now I know if I had an R8 I'd be driving that thing all day eating dinner in that car and honestly probably living in that car because it's $300,000 and that would be practically my life and my home. So now according to XXL Lil Pump got an extra $340,000 bonus is how well his last album did in sales. So that right there is enough to buy this car plus extra but honestly I don't even think he spent that money on this car. I'm pretty sure he just used the money. I'm pretty sure he just used that money to buy something else which I say later on in the video. There's so many like household families not even making three hundred forty thousand dollars per year and Lil Pump actually just got this granted to him from his record label because how well his album did I honestly couldn't even imagine just getting a three hundred forty thousand dollar e-transfer to my bank account that'd be absolutely insane so if any of you guys would actually like to do that for me 
I would definitely not decline it. So just let me know. So getting into the third thing that Lil Pump bought that you'll definitely gonna wanna want is gonna be all of his jewelry. Now Pump said in an Instagram live video that he's probably spent around $350,000 on his jewelry collection. And he likes to make new additions to the collection each and every week. So if you guys watch anything about Lil Pump outside music videos, you would definitely see him flexing his chains and watches practically every time he's on camera. Lil Pump owns one VVS Diamonds Rolex and one VVS Diamonds AP watch, which both of those watches combined cost over $100,000, which is absolutely insane, especially just for something that you wear on your wrist. I bought myself a couple months ago a watch that's only $400, which is still kind of pricey, but that's nothing compared to how much Lil Pump's is. Pump also has many different chains and diamond accessories such as rings and bracelets. All of his chains is an estimate of $200,000 alongside with his accessories, which is around $50,000, which all of it equals up to around 350 to 400 grand. But I honestly bet there's gonna be more invested into that because he also bought chains for his whole team, such as Lil Perp or Smoke Perp, whatever you'd like to call him. And then he probably bought diamonds and stuff for everybody else on his team. If you guys have any jewelry though, which is kind of pricey guys, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be very interested to hear what you guys have and what kind of designer you have. So if you're the type of person who loves watches, if you guys have a huge watch collection, just let me know what kind you have down in the comments below because I actually am really into watches, so I'd be definitely interested to hear. So now the second thing on our list that Lil Pump has bought that you'll definitely want to listen is that it's probably the fastest way to ever lose $150,000 as well, and that's with Lil Pump buying a yellow Porsche. Now Lil Pump, as you guys can tell from this video, loves to buy cars. He has many different types of cars, but the thing about this one that makes it so special is that this car only lasted Lil Pump about 15 minutes before he crashed it. So Lil Pump just got his full license about a year and a half ago, and as soon as he got it a week later, he decided to get his first paycheck from his music thing all together, and then he went out to go buy his first car. So this first car he decided to buy was this $150,000 yellow Porsche, brand new, and I'm pretty sure he even got custom rims with it because he wanted all black rims. Now on the way home from the dealership, he decided to take the car by himself. He didn't want anyone driving with him. So on his way home from the dealership, he actually crashed into a pole. Now he crashed into a pole into an, in, like literally he was in an empty parking lot where he crashed into this pole, meaning that the whole accident was his fault and the insurance company wouldn't pay to fix the car. So honestly, I have no idea even where the car is right now it's probably in a scrap yard I have no idea what Lil Pump did with it but I'll show you guys some pictures of the car on the screen here but it is kind of cool with one of the pictures that he did with the car he was sitting on like the hood of the car or whatever but he actually ended up using that as a cover for one of his songs which is kind of cool I guess probably the most expensive music cover you'll probably ever hear in the world now pump obviously made that money back probably within the next week or a month but it's still kind of crazy of buying such an expensive car and then crashing it the same day in 15 minutes minutes now i have a friend who got a little civic for his birthday this thing was old used it was pretty beat up i'm not even gonna lie it was just supposed to be you know your first car your first car is never that luxury it's kind of a like a nice little winter beater type of car now he actually crashed it in the first week of getting it as well it wasn't the first 15 minutes though but it was the first week and his parents were so mad and even ended up grounding him even though he's 17 years old now I would think Lil Pump's management team is actually probably really mad over the situation or at least was and his parents were probably were too even though we've never even seen them or even hear Lil Pump talk about his parents they probably were a little bit mad as well. So guys getting into the last and final thing that Lil Pump bought that was very expensive that I bet you guys want and I know for a fact that he actually kept this car because he just talked about it like last week or something but he actually bought a Bentley Coupe. Now this car cost a crazy $350,000 for this luxury car. Lil Pump said on Instagram that this will be his last car that he purchases for a very long time because he doesn't even really need the cars. He just kind of likes to buy them because they're nice things to have and it makes him feel better about himself, which honestly I can see in a way because I know when I buy nice things, I like to like cherish the item and things along the lines of that. So this is a very expensive car and I honestly can't believe that he would buy another one, but this is just a very beautiful car. I just cannot lie. It's a 2018 Bentley Coupe and I mean, who wouldn't want to be driving around in that? Lil Pump should definitely be safer though with his money and start investing and making companies because honestly I don't see him being around for another three to five years. Now, I don't think that I'm hating on Lil Pump or anything that I don't like. I'm actually am a Lil Pump fan but to be completely honest I do not think he'll be around for much longer than three to five years because it would honestly kind of just be weird hearing a 30 year old making the music he's making and screaming like that so obviously and when he hits puberty like like man puberty where you're 
voice goes deeper and you just mature a lot definitely will not last now obviously he's got a lot of fans and money right now but he doesn't really offer anything new to the table then what he does now unlike a lot of other artists who can do a lot more things than just one style of music but anyways guys if you did enjoy this video please smack a like on it that'd mean the world to me make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're getting close to 100,000, so that'd be awesome anyways guys it's been district trending i'm out peace